Welcome to Electron Online. The specific heat of substances such as metals or liquids or anything like that is not necessarily constant. Typically we use it as a constant but it tends to vary somewhat over temperature. But then when we get near absolute zero the specific heat varies a lot as a function of temperature and it turns out we can look at the Debye equation that near absolute zero the specific heat is more like K a constant times T cubed. So it varies tremendously with temperature, which means that C near absolute zero becomes very, very small. K, of course, is a constant that depends on the substance we're dealing with. So based upon that, let's try to find the Q, the amount of heat required for a mass with mass M, when the temperature changes from T zero to T equals 10 K. All right, how do we do that? Well, again, we use the equation that Q is equal to mc delta t and of course that is when c is equal to a constant. If it's not a constant we have to write as differential equation where dq is equal to m times c whatever c is in this case kt cubed times dt when c is not equal to a constant. And then of course we plug in the value for c or the equation for c we can say that dq is equal to m times k t cubed times dt and then if we want to find all of q that's going to be equal to the integral of dq which is the integral of t cubed dt with m and k being constants which means that q is equal to m k times t to the fourth over four evaluated from zero to ten and of course then that would be equal to m k times ten to the fourth over 4, of course 10 to the 4th that would be 10,000 divided by 4 which is Q equals 2,500 times M times K and that would be the heat required to raise the temperature from 0 to 10 K, 10 being 10 degrees above absolute 0. And that would be for part A. Now for part B, what is the mean specific heat? And then we're going to do exactly the same as we did in the previous video. For part B, C mean, the average mean, the average specific heat is going to be the integral from 0 to 10 of, that would be C times dt. Of course, that's the integral from 0. Oh, be careful. I have to also divide it by T final minus T initial the range of the temperatures. So in this case from 0 to 10, C is going to be K times T cubed DT divided by 10 minus 0. In this case that would be equal to K T to the fourth over 4 times 10. And of course T to the fourth uh, that would be evaluated from 0 to uh, 10. So T to the fourth would be 10 to the fourth uh, that's 10 to the third divided by 4, that would be equal to 250 times K. So that would be the average or mean specific heat. And finally, we're supposed to find the specific heat when T is equal to 10 K. So C when T equals 10 is equal to C, oh sorry, not C, equal to K, so I'm using that equation right there, would be equal to K times 10 to the third power. So C when T is equal to 10 is equal to 1000 K. Uh, 1000? Yeah, I said 1000, I wrote 100, I guess. 1000 K, and so that would be the specific heat when T is equal to 10 degrees, when the temperature is equal to 10 degrees, and that would be the average C, 250K over the span going from 0 to 10 degrees. And that is how we do that.